Um, Haven Dock, let's give that a shot. I wasn't I wasn't planning on this one, but uh, it's fine. We got plenty of time. So a little loud at the outset, but I like the music so far. Let's uh, probably chill. Dance floor light intensity. I like that there is an entire setting dedicated to the dance floor light intensity. <laughs> Have nice background music, not foreground music. Um, button. Here's my little dude. Hello, Yula. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's up? Come here. <laughs> So fancy. Yeah. Alright, so my dude, um my, my dude, uh, do we have do we have any hairstyles? We have top hat. Wait, hold up. We have top hat for plus five percent cool factor. We have a what appears to be a chef's hat, plus five percent British accent. Um we have a mask, minus 5% chance to get the plague. <laughs> it's just meow. Oh, is the, is the meow broken? Great. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, I hate this thing. I might switch over the meow to my uh, my personal uh, bot now. Because it uh, it keeps turning itself off. And there's no reason for that. Uh, but on. Okay, now you may meow. Um, the personal bot is Mix It Up that you pointed me to. Um, Mix It Up has been around since Mixer Days. I had debated on it way back in the Mixer Days. I just never never bothered because I didn't really want a locally run bot, but uh, with how often CloudBot is failing me, I might have to. No, oh no, not again. Streamer bot? Is that cloud based or is that local again? Yeah, but the one, you're special. You you are a hardcore code monkey. I I have I have I have no desire to do that. <laughs> Streamer bot is also local, alright. Um, let's see, five percent chance to get blinded by the sun, minus five percent social anxiety. Glow in the dark. I'm probably gonna have to do this one. Hotness, jolliness, angelic aura, obesity rate, chance to confuse, chance to inflict diarrhea, sunshine, guts, lung capacity, or nothing. We're gonna go with the glowy because I wanna. Um, quirks. Make sure everything is exactly how you like it, no room for error. These quirks have no gameplay effect, even if they sound like they do. Um, then I'm going with Procrastinator, because the second click was definitely the right one. Um, we're doing that. Let's do... That one. I might want to put off choosing that quirk. That's fair. Yeah, the quirks might eventually do something, but for right now, not so much. Um, I also have the option of making glowy hair if I wanted to. Unfortunately, we don't have a glowy purple. Although purple is pretty bright on its own, so we'll count it. Um, we got hair styles of various kinds. Shall be this one. Beardy McBeardyson. Configure world settings. If this is your first playthrough, you are encouraged to not touch these settings. Oh. Well, alright then. Oh, fine. I won't do that. Confirm. You wake up in a daze on a small sandbank. 
you appear to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. You find some wood to build a makeshift deck using rocks as tools. He's also really loud. Looks like you have to build more decks and expand. You have no recollection of how you got here, but you must find a way to survive. And pray others will find you. Coconut Island? That was cute. Whatever whatever that was on the loading screen. I like it. Alright, so we're uh, returning you down, sir. Alright. Tip. Movement. Wazd. 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 Zoomy scroll. Uh, right to orbit. Fair enough. Building decks. Select base. Select deck. Click on grids. Escape to exit. Hold shift for multiples. All right. Um, so we can we can rotate. -y. How do I? How do I? Uh. So you just get within range and then you can move. Okay. So then um, we do base deck. Build out some more. So we can grab the things. Lovely. Uh, and I'm assuming we want to go to Lighthouse. So let's uh, see if we can go there. Water too deep. Build a bridge here instead. Uh, okay, F6. Bridge. Not enough steel. Okie dokie. Um, give. Fish! Build a pump. Uh, build a pump. Uh, let's build a deck there, so we can have more extendy spout for pump. Pump get lovely. Um, collect seawater from pump. How do I, uh, how do I do it, pump? Alright, I have to do the working. Can I have fish? Eh, too far. Too far for fish. Ooh, big fish. Oh, big fish. Too big to catch. Fish, I have fish. Okay, so it's kind of like a top-down raft-ish type experience. Kind of, sort of. I know, right? The giant goldfish. So I have a happy little penguin over there. Tip, get in the water. Build a pump. Select the pump. Wait for it to pump. Collect the pump. Get the thingy. Build a distiller. Input slot. Water. Got it. Okay. So we're, do we're doing we're doing standard survivally doodads. So I'm gonna continue getting more seawater from the pump. Seawater. I have done that. Now, distiller. Uh, I'm going to hope that my dude can actually navigate. I can navigate? Good. Also, that's still really loud. Why why are all these games so damn loud today? Turn you down. Turn you down. Turn turn you down.
<laughs> and then poof. Three hours. I mean, I'm all for um, running around collecting, passing by resources. I mean, in fact, that's one of my other demos for today. I'm looking forward to that box. Can I have that box, please? Can I have the box? Goldfish. Box. I got lots of stuff. Um, I also want to go over that away, get whatever that is. Build pier. Yes. I don't know how to do that. Okay, fine. Fine. Ah, it's all SpaceX's fault. That makes sense. Um, okay, so... Control click to take resources. Shift click to insert resources. I can do that. Alright, it's getting, it's getting darkish. Oh, I got a goldfish! Nice. Um, Alright, so I need to take stock of all of my things so far. Um... So we've got hunger and thirst up here. We got time of day. It's obviously night-ish time, which is fine and dandy. Um, we got water distillation. We've got a big old lighthouse we're working towards. Boots hydration. Thank you. Um, and then we also have pollution levels. Power levels, people levels, and happiness levels. Lovely. Okay. Uh, are you done yet? We're still working on it, but we'll, we'll take what we got. Build a hork shop. Uh, workshop, workshop. Workshop is here. Cause five wood. We can do that. How do I rotate through the rotate button? That, that makes sense. Research. Agriculture. Research. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright, there's a bit of a tech tree to work, work through here. Agriculture. Let's do that. It costs two water. Done. Research complete. We now have a farm, we have a birdhouse, we have a trap. Okie dokie. Build a farm. Give. Give. Okay, fine. Be that way. It sounds like a familiar, like a success sound effect, the, the fanfare, but I couldn't I couldn't place it. Same one that Breath Edge used. Okay. That would be why it sounded familiar. I definitely would not have been able to place it, though. Um, boop. And then, boop. So far, nice and easy interactions. Quick and, quick and easy to get used to. Um, let's see. So, the bridge. I needed steel for that. Um, I do not have that. Can I research that? Fertilizer, charcoal, cookhouse, water tank. It looks like steel might be a ways away. Hard to say though. Either way, uh, it wants me to do more things, so let's do more things. Um, let's see about... I could probably expand out to this little thing over here instead of doing the pier here. Kind of go around the pier. Um, so let's let's do that maybe. We go here and we go... We go this way. 
don't, we don't go this way. We have to go this way, which then requires bridge. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We'll expand out this little general vicinity. Okay. So we now have a, a lovely, a lovely bigger area here. We got an incoming box. Thank you. I like the mechanics so far. Honestly, not too fond of the character designs, but I like all the extra stuff that you can do with the character, uh, the character creation. I just got random five steel? Where'd that come from? Like, it was like some sort of like quest reward or something, because all I did was pick up a plank, and suddenly I had a whole bunch of steel. Alright, let's see. Rotate structure, move structure. This is good. Good that we can easily move things. I hate when you have to disassemble and lose resources. Interesting. Planks can just randomly have steel. Good to know. Could be that they just don't have a method to make steel yet, and they'd wanted people to have access to it. Who knows? But now I can build a bridge. Oh. You get all the mats back for, for uh, disassembling as well. Good. Actually, I have not been paying attention to how much these things cost, so five wood. Um, I currently have... I have uh, 280, so I should get 285 as soon as I can figure out how to disassemble. Um, as soon as I can figure out how to disassemble. Delete deck mode. Yes. Um, so I have 286, I should get up to 291. Perfect. Good, good. Eesh. Lovely. I do like full resource recovery. I like full resource recovery in some games. Um, goldfish! Sometimes if the game is meant to be harder, I'm okay with losing some resources to make you really um, pay attention to what you're doing. But uh, for the most part, I do like full resource recovery. Alright, so once we build a farm, I should probably do that. Farm. Um, farm. Costs five wood and three sulfur looking things, I'm assuming. Uh, we'll build farm in this corner. That one's gone. That one's gone. Okay. Alright, um, let's open the food tab and build two birdhouses. Well, how about right there and uh, right, uh, right there? We got birdhouses. You can give them raw fish, um, which I'm assuming increases their output, perhaps. Raw fish. Raw fish. I. Legit didn't pay attention to this, but I do believe this bar is going faster. Yeah, and that's part of why I like having a move option. Because um, if you're going to lose resources, it'd be nice to be able to move something, especially when it makes sense to be able to move it. Like being able to just pick up and move your, your, your pot or whatever. Click get seed, click get seed. Um, click plant seed, water, raw vegetables, there you go. Fish. Alright, I am however going to build out my deck a little bit this way.
Uh, I thought I planted the seeds. I did. I did. I apparently only planted one of the seeds, though. Can't insert any more. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, let me go do more water. I'm gonna have my last Kit Kat. Good luck, Scooby. again. Oh, pump is full. Alright, so we take the place. We take... Alright, we're good. It's nice that I can, um... I can simply shift click or control click to interact with, with things and grab them, um, which is it's very nice. I don't need your farm information. I don't know farm. I'm a master farmer from any number of games. So I can just shift click to put in fish, control click to get the, the seeds out. Nice and handy. I cannot put any more. I can put more seed in. I can grab vegetables. Research charcoal at the workshop. I can do that. Costs a vegetable to do that. Um, and this one. Penguin poop. A pile of very disgusting goo. From something we might see at a zoo. It is sticky enough to be used as glue. And touching it could give us a bad flu. But we have we will have to make do. Because someone didn't think it through. And all we have is this residue. They're a poet and they didn't even know it. Okay. Um, so now we have... Foods and things. Oh, I just got a whole bunch more stuff. Let's continue working this away. Bridge. That lighthouse looks broken. Repair. Ten steel. I'm gonna do that. Eventually. Eventually. And then we're also going to bridge this away at some point and see what that lady wants. Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, hey, nature, fuck off. Nature, nature, come on. I need that. <laughs> yeah, goal for demo, finish lighthouse. I could probably do that. The birdhouses get covered in bird poo when they're full of stuff. You, you put you put fish as an offering to the bird, the bird that is very much an uncolored bird, and then they eventually cover the whole place with bird poo, and you pull the seeds off of it. I mean, you know, honestly, that's a fairly realistic method to get to get seed. Of the methods to get seed, that is a realistic one. Um, so let's uh, let's grab that, put that, and we'll have enough for that. Yeah, let's do some more, do some more salt water work. With my little dude in his face. Finish, uh, finish filling this thing up. There we go. Take 
that. Place that. Get that going. Look at that. They cover it with they cover it with poo. And you get the seeds out of it. Seven more. So three more and I'll be able to repair the lighthouse. I missed my goldfish though. I missed him. I missed him. That's a shame. Uh, but we have several things to look at. We've got we got penguin. We got tower off in the distance. We got a house on a platform pillar thing with a dude walking around on it that I think I can see. Um, we've got a lady over there just chilling. And we have a whole little uh, village structure over there. All sorts of fun stuff. All sorts of fun stuff. All right, uh, let's grab that. You're still doing the thing. I don't have any more charcoal, so we need to build a charcoal kiln. Let's do that. Uh, we also have decor, we have a ground light, some shelter, a flamingo, party light, party cube. Nice. We also have a dance floor. Alright. Um, food. Grill, birdhouse, trap, farm. Uh, base, we got charcoal kiln, so yes. Definitely good to put a high-powered charcoal fire on your wooden platform. Definitely a great plan. Good plan, great plan. Alright, so you need wood. Yes, absolutely a fantastic plan. rest of my metal. But that means that I already have enough to do the uh, do the lighthouse fix. Alright, so we got my charcoal. Um, research cookhouses. I don't know exactly what a cookhouse is, but I'm assuming it involves cooking and houses. Research. I'm assuming I have to be there for that. Um, so that was at, what, 40-ish percent? Oh no, it's still researching. Okay. I guess I don't need to be there for it. Great. Certainly can be there for it, but don't have to. Oh yeah, now I recognize the noise. Okay, yeah, that's, that's coming back to me now. Uh, so cookhouse, dining table, and snack stand. Uh, we also got water tank and pier allows you to build a pier on uh, near the sandy island yeah not nearly as much humor although there is quite a bit of humor in this it's just not like sprinkled throughout the game like breath edge was um this one so far all the humor has been during the character creation and a little bit in the item descriptions as well Uh, the this this sort sort of perspective always messes with me a little bit though. Um, I've I've grown much more accustomed to first person, so third person overhead has always been a little bit rough for me to get used to. But 
Uh, Alright, so, uh, oh, we can move, we can move our stuff around, so that's good. F is inventory, good. Build a cookhouse to make food. Uh, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can reach that guy. I could, I could reach that guy, though. Oh, no, I can't. We will, we will build a bridge to get over it so we can reach this guy. Yay. Okay, that's, that's... That's where all my metal went, so we're gonna have to wait until I get another round of metal. More hydration. Scooby, did you read the part about the uh, the penguin poop? The item, the item description for the penguin poop. I was I was thoroughly amused by that one. I guess I could disassemble to get Matt's back. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can find the penguin poop again. Um, wood. There we go. Um, penguin poop. Penguin poop was in the research. Yes, okay, so under the fertilizer research, uh, the penguin poop, um, it is, it is a, it is a bit of a poem, a rhyming poem. A pile of very disgusting goo from something we might see at a zoo. It is sticky enough to be used as glue, and touching it could give us a bad flu. But we will have to make do, because someone didn't think it through, and all we have is this residue. Very, a very well thought out poem. Giant fish. Giant fish. Okie dokie. Um, so I need to make the cookhouse. Food. Cookhouse. Uh, it costs five cabbages and ten wood. No problem. No problem. We will put my cookhouse. Right here. Yes. Select teriyaki at the cookhouse as a meal to cook. Perfect. At the cookhouse, cook the teriyaki. Look, it looks like he's having a seizure. Alright, now it wants me to research the pier. Okay. I need one more round of metal, and yes, I'm leaving these bridges here. One more round of metal, and I'm gonna fix up the lighthouse. Meanwhile, research pier. Done. Okie dokie. Next, build pier. Okie dokie. Oh, hi. I have, unfortunately, I, I have built my farm in a very unfortunate location. Let's, uh, let's move that. Let's, let's move the farm. You can get moved over this corner. He got my middle. Mr. Man, hello. I didn't expect to see another survivor, and here I thought I'd be stuck talking to my volleyball for the rest of my life. I see you've been putting the wreckage of uh, DC-370 to good use. Um, who are you? Call me Alf. I've been sailing for days, but I always end up back at the crash site. Join me. Looks like there isn't any space on board. I'll wait until you have build a house. If you're wondering how to build a house, perhaps the workshop has answers. You just got here, but uh, thanks for giving me the tip on how to build a house that you didn't know existed. I moved your stuff so many times. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's easy to do, which is nice. Uh, 
Alright, you, Penguin. How do I get over to you? Hello. Penguin makes a strange noise. It looks aggressive and might attack you anytime. Um, have a golden fish. Very special fish for a very special penguin. Penguin gobbles the fish. It burps a loud burp and you watch in horror as it excretes a pile of poop on the ground right before your eyes. Heh <laughs> There's no way you'd pick up that poop. You laugh it off. Gained five happiness. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Alright, I probably should have picked that up, but I was curious about the laugh. Give, 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 give. Give. More stuff. All of the stuff. Um, get two raw meat tip grow burgers in farms. I don't think that's how burgers works. Um, but let's let's make another farm then. Food farm. Um, time for time for burger farm apparently. Um, burger. Input seed burger seed. Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, I do believe we need more water then. It could be soy burger. Very well. Could be. We have option to add pipe. Interesting. Alright. Upgrade bucket to hold more seawater and pump faster. Cost three steel. Sure, absolutely. Uh, upgrade the bucket to hold more seawater and pump faster. Um, diamonds. Well, I don't have anything like that, so no thanks. You. Bronze distillers. Upgrade with some glass. Sure. Here, have some charcoal. Go, go faster. Go faster. All of the faster. Okay. I guess I could keep collecting seeds. Since I'm now growing burgers from seed. Nice to have a good healthy burger seed stock. Ah, we got another goldfish coming. So now we can go actually get penguin poop. Feeding settlers. Pasha. I don't need to do that. Alright. Yes, you can now have a golden fish. I probably should feed it a regular fish and see what happens there. But I shall pick up your poop, sir. Thank you. You somehow made the decision to scoop it up and nonchalantly chuck it into your inventory. Your hands are black with filth and that smell will take days to wash off. Awesome! <laughs> Alright. Give. 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 Alright. Um, so we're growing meat for the dude. Uh, you can, have, you can have some fish. Can I can I cook more burger? Can I cook more thing? Um, the cook not enough ingredients. Um, but I but I have all of the ingredients. I have I have all of the things. I don't have the charcoal. Oh well, then I need to get more charcoal. Upgrade with bricks. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm not that rich. Mm. 
burger. We have we have burger. Burger. It is it is definitely addictive, especially with the the collecting floating resources bit. Um, I, I am a fan of that general mechanic. Ow! Stop it! I got I got moited. Jesus! I have been forgetting to eat. That is definitely a problem. Okay, we're better now. I, I definitely forgot to eat. <laughs> Research housing. Sure, we'll get this guy home. Research housing. Costs two meat to research the housing. Alright, you continue researching while I uh, continue collecting materials. And I'm gonna go fix up the lighthouse. You turn the lighthouse on and its light pierces the sky. In the distance, a small boat steers itself towards your lighthouse. Um. Okay. Hi, yes, hello? Hey, nice settlement. But I'm not one to move in. I'm a scavenger of the sea. Are you wondering how to get more steel? Well, I have steel. But you're gonna have to give me some valuables in return. How about we trade? Okay. What you got? Um, Lone Blacksmith has steel, medicine, and hammer. Um, and I have... I have things. Um, so, steel is worth seven and a half. A teriyaki meal is worth 10. Um, golden fish is worth 30. Uh, okay, okay. Penguin poop is worth 1. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, you may go on your merry way, sir. Goodbye. Now, the question is, how do we get him back again? Uh, traders come into the lighthouse as you progress through the game. Each trader sells different resources. You gain friendship by giving traders more than they ask for in value. With enough friendship, traders permanently sell you items at lower price. Nothing about how they come back again or how often that happens. Uh, build house for a first settler. How about we also make food for a first settler? People. House. Uh, it is interesting that you can still continue to interact with the environment while, while doing things. Um, but yeah, you can go in this corner, sir. You can go right there. I don't even have a house yet. You get the first house of the settlement. Don't you feel special? Invite the new settler on board. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. You are welcome to join. Awesome! I got a house. And now he's walking over there to stand in the fire. Huh. Good man. He's just randomly moving items. Okay. Apparently he has decided he's going to cook. Alright, good for you. Have a, have a grand old time with that. It looks like there is a lot to this game. Um, definitely has the um, colony management. There's a lot of light to this. There's It's kind of like raft light, colony management light. Um, but... Definitely some pretty solid mechanics so far. I like it. Um, absolutely, absolutely silly in some regards, which is perfectly fine. Like the giant bobbing goldfish and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I'm... Yes? Okay, so they come back fairly often, it seems. And I'm okay with that. You, you, just, you just stay there. I'm not going to do anything with you. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it.
But now that we have our, our lone lumberjack man... PTSD, survivor of a wreckage incident referred to as DC-370. Keeps mumbling on about some crash site. Probably delusional. Hmm. So, Scooby, do you want to share your, um, your humorous element that you didn't want to spoil? Because I, uh, I, I'm, I'm probably going to call it here just so we can move on to more demos. Also, I'm going to feed this guy regular fish. You watched and eagerly as the penguin gobbled the fish, but nothing exciting happened after that. Do you want to feed it another fish? Sure. Tears it apart. You didn't expect to be this gruesome. It costs up some sand. Ah, no, that's okay. So, random item generator, perhaps? With uh, golden fish make, making it uh, provide penguin poops. More in-depth for, uh, for the colony management later. Okay. I'm typically not too keen on colony managers. Um, I tend to get sick of them. But with this one having extra elements to it than just colony management... I think I'd be more on board with it. A lot of colony management is just top-down overhead, manage your people, and you literally have nothing to do but manage your people, and I get kind of bored of it. Um, but this one, this one has some good elements that I would enjoy. <laughs> one of the settlers that showed up wanted a thing. You thought you had it, so you said yes. But you didn't have enough, and the seller was like, the seller was like, liar! <laughs> nice. You lied to me. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Can I enter your house? We can enter the house. Well, that's neat. I don't know what the purpose that serves yet, but we can do it. Oh, and now we have a new dude. I don't think I need new dude, but we have new dude. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it would ever be very heavy. Um, but there's a lot of likes and dislikes and whatnot to keep track of. So definitely a thing to worry about. Um, now, he's idling because he doesn't have... He doesn't have enough materials because I don't have anywhere to keep raw fish. Because I haven't bothered making a box. So how's about we make a box for the man? Um, just to store some shit in. Uh, sure. Here, box. That is not a fantastic storage box. It needs it needs a little bit more something something. Uh, select the resource to store. Fish. Nope, that was not how you store fish. How do I store fish? How do I... The, the shift clicky methods. Got it, got it. Uh, we, can, we can store, I don't know, coal. Uh, we can store seeds, sure. Seed, seeds, 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 okay. Uh, and we can store, oh, um, steel, why not? Steel. There, store all the things. There, now you can continue cooking, sir. Good for you. But yeah, I dig it. I, I dig it. There's, there's a lot going on here, so... This one's already out, at least in, I think, early access? Let me uh, double check on that. Yeah, this one's already out in early access. It's 17 bucks, so I might, I might pick that up and uh, give it another shot at some point. But I gotta get through some of my other games first. So we'll, we'll see. But I dig it. I dig it. So, this is Haven Dock. Haven Dock. Do I have to save or something? I guess it. I guess it's demo. It doesn't particularly matter if I save. Um, also, how to get out? Save. Hey, there's a button for save. Sure. Save. Quit. Yes. Haven Doc. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that one out, Scooby. Um, I do remember that one being suggested at some point, but I have forgotten, and I probably would not have remembered to go back to it at some point.